Hi guys, it's Shell and Clint. Oh crap. <laughs> Hi guys, she messed me up, I was counting. Uh, hope everyone's <laughs> having a wonderful, glorious day. And Jazzy Leanne. Yeah. She's been up here loving on me. I'm setting up, you know, to get started. And um, I had some people who were saying they were missing the kitties. So I thought I would bring you guys along. For a couple of minutes and kind of show Miss Jazzy. She's getting girl. so big. She is like a little princess. She is really dainty. She is so And big. you know you rub her and she rolls over and lets you rub her tummy. And she's always just a. She's just a little love bug. She's not too much trouble. Oh, Aww. she's going to lay down. You going to lay down? Let mommy rub your belly. She is, you know, you hear that, she is just a true light in our life. Yeah, she's just a little joy. She's just a, just a little love bug. She is, um, how old is she now? Six months or maybe even remember. a little bit older. Don't chew on those. <laughs> but I thought, you know, usually when I do watercolor and stuff, I don't <coughs> let anyone come up. But I had some people that were like, we're missing the kitties. Yeah. So, she's helping me get organized, and then I'll uh, set her aside. But I hope you guys are doing well. And close to the background, you know how he is. Snarkling? Snarkling? Are Sorry. you snarkling? Oh, I'm always snarkling with my son. So, let's get started. She's going to start chewing on stuff she doesn't need to chew on. Come here, baby girl. Like that string. Huh? Just her. I like that string. Maybe Daddy will get her a straw. Oh! Yeah, Daddy has a straw, and she a straw. still adores straws. So she is playing, she's going to be playing with that. She actually went over and went that Aww. Okay, she, ready? she told Daddy she wanted a straw. Huh? You know, you're a little bugger. Okay. We're going to lower you guys down just a little bit because I think it makes her a easier, um, so you can see things a little bit easier. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is my cotton. Arches watercolor paper. I'm going to use that today and we're going to work in the positivity journal. Sometimes when like life is hectic and stuff and something's going on and I just get kind of stressed out, I really like to just go to my watercolors. So we are going to kind of continue that. Again, this is a journal I picked up from Christy at Burlap and Daily Bread and she just hit a thousand subscribers. Really? Oh, yes. congratulations, Christy. Congratulations, Christy. I love her. She is such a sweet oh, lady. Oh, she is so sweet. And um, she gave me a shout out. It was so sweet. Uh -oh. But yeah, I'll put her link below so you guys can go check her out. Check out her uh, Etsy. This is a really <laughs> great book for um, just kind of adding, you know, like a piece of paper, just flat things. I mean, you could add some bulk if you wanted to, but I'm really enjoying this. And then, uh, just kind of decorating. And I think I'm going to put my, my little, uh, I don't know. I was thinking it would be really cute here. My, um, but i got to make sure my paper's going to fit. My hummingbird. So, I think it would be kind of cute there if I glued it in there and maybe did a saying here. <clears throat> did we, what was I supposed to cut? So yeah, that would work. Four, was it nine? Nine, yeah. Oh, sorry guys. I'm trying to, I'm getting the ball material for the, uh, what is it? Oh, the mosaic. Yeah. Thing I did a while back. We haven't really been doing a lot lately because of work. Today <laughs> is Thursday here. <laughs> Had a very interesting week. Okay, so we're going to get started on doing a tutorial. Now this tutorial is from, I'm not going to really be doing a tutorial, but I'm going to be following one. And it's uh, by Ellen Cremie Trent. I love her and she's awesome for beginners. Uh, I'm also, um, you know, I started taking some courses from Lindsay, uh, the Frugal Crafter, because she had her class is 50% off until the first, which was yesterday, but okay, so we are going to do this, but yeah, um, sorry, the phone got me all discombobulated, 
but we're going to do a tutorial from uh, using <coughs> a tutorial from Ellen Ellen Creamy Trent and just a fun simple watercolor I expect <laughs> of a hummingbird and I really liked hers I'll kind of show it to you real quick just a simple I really love that I think that's really cute really bright and really fun there's a lot of different tutorials if you're looking for one but yeah I've been watching um, some of my classes I got from Ellen or from Lindsay so let's get started and I'm gonna watch her over here on the side and just kind of talk you guys through it but I will put that link below so I did see a hummingbird the other day so that was pretty fun to see I also saw uh, some other things that I wasn't all that thrilled with like we saw a uh, turkey buzzard and I thought it'd be kind of fun funny to do a turkey buzzard but after reading about them they kind of made me nauseous so I will never do a turkey buzzard <laughs> so first we're gonna draw this out uh, let's just do kind of like a really really um, kind of thin a really light brown when oh nice so I think she's just she did hers like sideways but it's not gonna fit in my book like that so I'm gonna do mine maybe like this maybe I'll do like a different type of um, flower than what she did so I am going to just kind of see how she sketched out the good thing about Ellen Creamy Trent is she sketches out so that uh, with a like black marker so that you can kind of see exactly how she sketches and I really like that I think that's kind of fun so she did like the um, lip not the lip the beak <laughs> And then kind of down. I'm trying to kind of get it in the you know right orientation that I want. So kind of like that. And then this will kind of come up like the head. Okay, so the wings here and the wing here I think yeah I think that looks okay and then I'll do like a flower here maybe like a trumpet flower or something I'm just kind of it's just a simple sketch I mean anyone can do that right you can do it I have faith in you <laughs> you could do it hon I have faith in you I know my ability I suck stuff like that but, I mean, so many people, you guys are cracking me up. You're like, there is no way I could do that, Michelle. You can do it. I have faith. <laughs> so, you won't know until you try. You won't. You want to try? No, because I can't draw. <laughs> I know better. But look at this. You can't, can't. You could draw that. Yeah, I don't know. You don't think so? Honey, I can't. I <laughs> I'm good at oh, and then she did a eyeball. I should do an eye. I didn't really look at um, the eye of a hummingbird. You know what? I should because sometimes um, they end up looking like people eyes and I don't want that. So I'm going to just go look real quick on Pinterest just to make sure, you know, it doesn't look like a people eye because if it's not supposed to, then yeah. I don't want. Oh, you have some? Because that one doesn't look like a people eye. <clears throat> that was actually something I read in um, Lindsay's one of her classes is somebody had yeah. sent in a picture and she says you know of the um, the eye looked like a human eye and it shouldn't how am I supposed to see those so to me it just looks like it should be just a circle yeah like a well, and not shaped like a people eye. Right. No, it's, yeah. Yes, yeah, there's a bigger one. 
right there. So to me, it kind of just looks circle. Okay. Well, and I've noticed that um, on some of the tutorials and stuff, Ellen kind of does um, oh, more sorry. oval eyes than like the circle ones. And I just want to kind of make sure that that's right because I want it to be a little bit more, um, you know, correct. That might be too big, but it's going to be a big eyed uh, hummingbird because he has lots to see. <laughs> <laughs> So we also saw, I was telling them what all we'd seen, we also <laughs> saw uh, turkeys, wild turkeys, which would be really fun to paint. also saw a turkey buzzard. I told them a turkey buzzard, and then I read about it and made me nauseous, and so I quit. <laughs> I thought it'd be kind of fun to make one really goobish, cartoonish, but after reading it, no, not so much. There's not really a lot of positive things you can say about a turkey about buzzard. About a turkey buzzard. It was I just... Yeah, it Maybe. yeah. If you want to know more, go read about it. But uh, I wouldn't. It made me nauseous. <laughs> I was like, no, I'm I good. <laughs> Here, she's not even wetting it. I'm just kind of wetting mine just because. Okay. I think it would kind of blend in a little bit more. Probably want to keep. Sorry, there's a more hair there. there. You want to be careful and not scratch. Not scratch. But today, I just kind of. I've been re re resting from Tuesday. Tuesday was a hard day. We were gone almost 13 hours in the car. And it's not like we can just take a break and go into a restaurant and not move or anything. <clears throat> kind of got cussed at by one of our... Yeah, Clint uh, really had a rough day. <laughs> I refuse to locate a... I'm using purple right now. I'm just going to kind of put it in where I think the throat and stuff would be. I refuse to locate a public major power line, uh, more than one, because uh, I didn't know what's in there, and that ain't my job, and he told me what he thought, and I told his boss that as we will no longer be doing any locates for them whatsoever, no matter who it is. Yeah, so the guy... Um, we went over to do a private locate, and a private is anything that doesn't belong to the public. You know, of course, I mean, that's kind of like self-explanatory, self but, street lights you know, stuff. yeah, like a street light or something like that. It's no major, like, utilities or anything like that. And yeah. uh, this guy, man, he got, was asking Clint, like, why the, why right. did you even come over and... I mean, it was just really, I was surprised at Clint. I was proud of him because he didn't, like, go off on this guy. Which I can do, I mean. And, you know, he has in the, <laughs> in the past. But, I mean, this guy was just, like, yelling up one side and down the other. And this was our long job. So, it was, I'm going to put some brown in. So, it was um, a two-hour trip. And the guy pretty much said, well, you're wasting my time. Get you lost. shouldn't have came over here. And if you're not going to um, do what I need you to do, you just need to leave. And we did have some private, you know, that we could locate, which wasn't a big deal. And uh, the good thing about, sorry, let's change the subject real quick. The good thing about um, hummingbirds is... You can do them any color. You know, the one that Ellen's doing is like really colorful, but I kind of wanted to focus on a little bit of different colors. But yeah, he was just like, you shouldn't have came over here. You're just wasting my time. And I'm thinking, well, you're wasting our time because you know what we are capable of, capable of what we're willing to locate. And you still called us over here to do stuff that uh, legally we can't do. And it's to protect you <laughs> because... Yeah. You know, if we don't know how to locate it or whatever, what's mm -hmm. in the area, we shouldn't be held, you know, you know. I mean, we shouldn't have to babysit you and say, hey, well, by the way, we're not going to locate this because... Yeah, well, and, you know, when you're doing that, especially if you don't know what's in there, you're holding lives in the palm of your hand. Oh, yeah, because... And I that mean, ain't going to happen. If somebody, so. you know, hits an electric... That you located then you know it's on you and we're not willing to to do that but boy clint was just as calm as he could be and i'm like what is he saying to you? <laughs> i was i'm really calm i don't like confrontation of any kind but clint was really good i was really 
surprised that he um, was as quiet, I mean, was as calm as he was. And, yeah, for a little bit until I was like, uh, <laughs> I think I kind of started it a little bit more than, than he did. But That's okay. I just called up both bosses and Clint says, I'm done. I'm yeah. done. And then he said, what about? Well, will you still the other guys, for so and, and I so? said, nope. I said, I will not be locating for anyone. And the other guys are always nice. This guy's a butthead, and he's notorious for it. So it's not like it's a surprise. And, huh? no, <laughs> well, they good. always say, oh, he always does that. Well, but that he, he shouldn't, you know. So well, it was like 10 minutes of getting yelled at and stuff. And, you know, yeah. I was just, I was surprised Clint didn't just walk away, but he did really good. I was yeah. proud of him. I've been doing this crap for 30 years. I mean, I know what I'm doing. So. But it was just like, well, I can't believe you wasted my time by having me come over. Yep. <laughs> and, you know, but anyways, that's, that was the joy of our, <laughs> of our Tuesday but it ended up being so long and so tiring that yesterday I slept most of the day. And uh, today Clint had some more locates and I rested from that. I erased that one because I think it was down too low. So, I don't, yeah, I mean that one's fine. Let's kind of, so we'll focus on this now. But yeah, it was just like, ugh. You know, why, yeah, it was just not a good, a fun, fun time. <laughs> but we made it, and it was, it was fine, you know, and uh, I feel bad for some of the other guys that are so nice, but I don't either, because, you know, it's a constant thing. Well, and I told him, I said, I want this done, I want this understood. This is on his head, because he chose his words. And there's a consequence for your words, good or bad. And that was the consequence. So, yeah. It's on his shoulders, not mine. Yeah, we're letting it go now, though. <laughs> you want anybody? I said, we're letting it go now, though. Oh, yeah. But it was just. But and then we ran into some really sweet people, like people that have been tied up for. <laughs> Oh, that lady. The one lady where I saw the hummingbird, she, she was, was she's been, uh, she's 69. She hasn't left the house in three weeks, and she lives alone, and it was just, man, she was just a sweetheart. Yeah, she really was. It was really fun to That's kind of awesome. chat with her, and, you know, we kind of needed that, so it was really, you know, I don't know what hummingbirds look like. I mean, I do. <laughs> but, um, you know, you can put whatever color you want to in a hummingbird. So, I'm just putting some green and purple because I just think they go well together. And, uh, yeah. But, yeah, we, we ended up uh, talking to some really, really nice people. We met the little lady and talked to her for like half an hour to an hour. And then right after that, we met this really nice man. Uh, did allocate at his, you know, and that's kind of, it makes it all worth it. So it was kind of like, you know, I really needed this. So. Yep. Yeah, that, both of them, they were, and the one man, he actually grew up where we are. Not in the house, but. Well, that was a different story. Well, I know. <laughs> it's a positive story. Honey. It is a positive story. <laughs> Oh, you guys. Clint hasn't talked to anyone in a while. Can you tell? <laughs> I'm going to add some green and purple to the wings just to get a little bit of that color up there, too. You know, I don't know. Who knows? Let's just do our thing. And then we'll put some green in. But, yeah, it was. we had a, a pretty fun day, you know. It wasn't too bad. And I, I was talking to my friend Lorette and telling her what was going oh, on. Oh, the one, the one guy we met, 
The right. one who grew up in, Dur in Durango, huh? Yeah, he yeah. was so neat to talk to. He was really fun. He actually um, kind of came to this part like we did in that um, when he first moved here, it was like, or came through for college, he was like, I felt, he felt like he was home and that's kind of how I felt since I've been here. So, okay, so that's kind of fun. And one fun thing she does, she did is some like um, splattering. And I've learned from Lindsay that you either hate this or you love it. So we're gonna kind of splatter. But if you don't like, you know, that messy look, then by all means you can leave this out. But I'm just gonna kind of splatter. Just because I love it, I think it's really cool. And then you can just kind of you know, do them bigger or whatever you want to do, but yeah, it was kind of, uh, and it's been, you know, it's still been busy. People are calling us like crazy, so it's probably a good thing that we no longer will be doing, you know, work for them, but um, yeah, it just wasn't fun at the time. <laughs> So isn't that fun? I love this. What I'm doing, I don't know if it's even, you know, a thing, is I'm just kind of splattering across. I think I want a little bit more purple. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to put it here. But that's fine. That's fine. It doesn't matter. Are oh, you making a ruby throated one? Yeah, I think I am. I think is that's that what, what it's kind of turning out? I don't know. I think that's what that is. I have to get my book out to see. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. I just kind of wanted those colors and I just thought they would be kind of fun. I'm going to put in some green. It's the bottom. Oh, yeah. That is kind of them. It's a ruby. Oh, that's it. That's a broad-tailed hummingbird, but there's another one that's called ruby throat, I think, and that oh. one's, the, we have those here. Oh, do we? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we see them. I need to put out my, uh, yeah, it's that time, really. things, feeders. Kind of more like this. Huh? We kind of make our own, you know, food and stuff for them. Ooh, yeah, isn't that pretty? <laughs> Lucifer. Oh my gosh, lovely, huh? <laughs> that is funny. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, oh maybe some up here. So, so I think I'm going to now that I made such a mess. I'm gonna let this dry or dry it. Do I have my thing in here? I don't think I do. I think I put it up. Um, I might put just a couple of of. Uh, splatters here too. Maybe I should quit. <laughs> Maybe I'm going overboard. I'm not sure. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is just let it dry or dry it and I'll be right back. Okay, so I went ahead and dried it and then some of them had petals so I just kind of set that down and kind of picked up some. So I'm going to kind of add a little bit of purple kind of coming off of that. I don't know why I closed up everything. I don't know. And, uh, but yeah, so I've been home the last two or three days. Two days, I guess. And I don't think we have work tomorrow. But she also had, she did kind of just around the, um, the bird itself. And I kind of like that too. And, then she kind of goes back in and kind of does a um, thing. Quince Levin on the Bubba. Little guy. He's such a sweetheart. A little guy. I guess. <laughs> Who's that? Is that a little guy? No, it's hard. Oh. Okay. Little Bubba. He sounds sweet. Aw. Cute. So I think that's kind of fun. And then I need something like behind it. Here, just a little bit. Like I said, it's not, you know, I'm not an artist. I'm trying, I'm learning to do some of this stuff, but it's not, you know, 
um, perfect or anything. And it doesn't have to be, right? Right. So if you splatter and you're on like dry stuff, then you can easily just kind of pick it up. So I'm going to go ahead and dry that and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to move that up a little bit. So now we are going to, I think, let's do like a trumpet flower here. Now she didn't do a trumpet flower, but to me it kind of looks like he's hanging, you know, kind of like flying up into the flowers. So I am going to... Oh, there's a trumpet flower right there. Just kind of look up trumpet flower on my um, in Pinterest because I love Pinterest. <laughs> Let's see, uh, trumpet flower watercolor, and it doesn't have to be anything like really detailed or anything. I just want like just the main, you know, just. The main part of it so that's what we're gonna do well come here <laughs> so just any flower that's kind of hanging do, do trump do uh trumpet flowers come in purple i would think they would wouldn't you no i don't know honey. well our trumpet flower is going to be purple Hi, Paul. Because what I'm thinking is, you know, that would help the other, the rest of it kind of make sense. So just something simple. Um, let's see, like this. And then. So it's just kind of like a V in like cloud here. I'm just kind of doing it myself, you know. And then we'll just kind of like take this down here and leave that part. Might be a new trumpet flower. Some kind of flower. Kind of put some uh, color in there. Okay, it warms your heart when he wakes up and starts yelling at you. That's sweet because, well, and Biddy, he always gets sad when Daddy's not home like he thinks he should be, you know. <laughs> He's like, but Daddy, you should be home. And uh, he won't talk to Daddy sometimes, so it's kind of, so again, I'm just kind of doing that little cloud shape again. Um... And then kind of so I hope you guys are having a good week a lot of things going on now you know they're talking about opening and all that stuff and so there's um, stuff going on with that but try not to get too too concerned just do what is safe for you and what you're comfortable you know with it doesn't don't do anything that you're not comfortable with okay I'm gonna leave that because it kind of adds a nice little um, kind of white so the problem I'm having now is I feel like there's not enough um, maybe I'll do another one like right here I like things in twos or threes not <laughs> I mean three or five odds you know and that's kind of bugging me so we'll just do another one right here maybe something like that and then we'll separate that here in a minute okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and dry that and we'll add some greenery and stuff just something really simple I'll be right back. Okay, so that's dry, and then let's go ahead and add some green. We'll add some veins and stuff. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of messing. <laughs> you guys are probably like, hmm, Michelle. <laughs> just kind of playing. You guys know how I am. Looks like a hot mess right now, doesn't it? I'm going to put in just a little bit of that Payne's Gray because I am going to use that 
you know, in other areas. And then I don't want it to. So I'm just going to kind of add in some veins here to gray. What's wrong? This little guy got scared when I was drying my thing, so I think I'm going to switch to a smaller brush. So tell me what... Um, you guys are doing to stay positive. Is anyone staying positive, having a hard time staying positive out there? Well, and even, you know, going through all that strife and everything on Tuesday, it wasn't like it was stressful or anything. No. It was just like, okay, I'm done. Yeah, well, <laughs> it didn't bring her the day down. The so day down. had an awesome day. Yeah, it wasn't, you, you know. know well, like Clint says, you know, we're too old to put up with this, and, you know, we don't have to. That's the whole point. So That's it's what just... you don't understand. When you turn 50, you really don't have to put up with crap like that anymore. Nope. I'd probably keep kind of that. So, you know, we still had a really fun day, yeah, and it was, was kind of... fun. Baby, come here, honey. I don't know if anyone could tell what those are, because I can't very well tell. <laughs> Whatever. They're just an abstract, weird flower I thing. Think. Oh, really? He's just kind of... Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and put just a really thin wash like th in these because... And then we'll kind of draw in the um, stamen. I don't know. I don't know. Still looks a mess. But it's fun. Sometimes that's all you need is just something fun. So, the flowers or the leaves, kind of big. Well, and it's just like an abstract, so, you know, that's me talking myself into them just being abstract. <laughs> yeah. Is that what it is, baby doll? <laughs> just accepting what I'm drawing. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that. Okay, and then some yellow green, just because I think that's a nice color to kind of add for the fol foliage. Highlights and all that good jazz. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we talked to the one guy in Mancus, which and he was telling who's... us, was it two years ago? Uh, which is amazing, but they had, he had 20 foot of snow. Oh, yeah. That winter. Yeah, the guy that I was telling you about who yeah, where he lives, they had 20 feet Which of is amazing because down at the highway where you drive, there wasn't that much, you know. But he was way up there on top. That's where we saw the turkey crossing the road and a couple of turkeys. I told Clint I felt like I was at a family reunion with his mom. His Look, your mom's here. <laughs> yeah. Clint always says, I feel like I'm at a family reunion too, my in-laws. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, we're going to let that dry for a little bit, and I'm going to come through with a little bit of this brown and the gray, and just kind of frame him out, add him a little bit more, um, I'm going to use these little, this little tiny brush, um, kind of give him some more definition, but yeah, we, it, we had a fun, fun day, it wouldn't have been so long, but we were just, you know, we chatted with people and stuff, and, 
you know, that drive was well over four hour drive because it was two hours there, two hours back. Yeah. And so, you know, we're thinking, well, you're wasting our time too. <laughs> well, and but you know, you know, oops. we had a two and we had when the plumbing company that we do locates four calls that morning. But we oh, were yeah. on the way to Pagosa, so I get this call and I couldn't understand a single word he was saying. So it was he was Arab or something. Yeah, yeah which, so it's really hard. To... I couldn't understand him, but it ended up being the same emergency, and I wanted to get it done because you know I mean. Yeah, we didn't want to have to go down. He says, "Oh, you can do it tomorrow." No, I don't want no, to do it tomorrow. I don't want to do it tomorrow. I don't <laughs> work on. Two like days it. in a row, you know, yeah, and it's just like kind of... Two days in a row, and so that made it quite a bit longer. Cause we yeah, because that was another hour. hour or so, and, you know, out of the way. I mean, it wasn't the, the direction we were heading, you know, and it was just kind of... Yeah, it was just... It ended up being a really long day. I think we left here at 7 and got home after 7, so... But, you know, I knew they needed us, and I could, didn't want to make a special, I wasn't going to make a special trip down, so I just figured, well, we'll just suck it up and work an extra hour or whatever and get it done, and not have to worry about it after that, you know. Yeah, so just, it was, it was nice, I mean, you know. So we both got to rest yesterday, even though it didn't, we didn't think we were going to be able to. Yeah, we ended up getting <laughs> We were wandering there for a little bit, but oh, yeah. it worked out, and then, um, you know, of course, we had several phone calls about, hey, we're going to need you tomorrow, and mm -hmm. things like that, and, but, you know, the people who called us didn't need us, so it w wasn't too bad. I thought I heard something, but I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. That's a great air, did you know that? Oh, did you? Yeah, it was down there. Oh, did you go down and get it? Yeah. Oh, nice. I think you might have. That was when you woke up, I think. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I took a nap. Clint didn't. He he was a good boy. He's like, ah, oh, not tired. Yeah, I don't know. Usually I would have been. And I was, but I just didn't feel like napping. Yeah, boy, I, w I was. I woke up and I was like, I really need to do something. I went back to sleep. Yep. <laughs> I was like, now nah, I'm good. So I'm just putting in some Payne's Gray with some brown here and just kind of doing um, his little, now you want to make sure it's dry, the background, or you would have a big mess. So I didn't think of that, but you know, because that's what I do. Or the birds are singing. There we go. That's not horrible. I mean, I think he looks kind of cute, you know, he's kind of all happy and whimsical. whimsical. And word that is the word. Clint, yeah, I'm teaching Clint all kinds of new words. <laughs> now I'm going to go really dark with that Payne's Gray for his eyeball. And try to color that in having a kind of like a little halo which means just a white spot somewhere that looks pretty cute his this little thing I think is a little bit short his beak He looks kind of cute. What do you think, Daddy? I like it. It's not the greatest, but you know what? It doesn't have to be, right? It's mine. Oh, and one thing I wanted to do is I have these colors. Oh, and I still need to add my stamen. Let me add my stamen real quick. I'm going to add like really bright um, yellow or orange. I don't know. We'll do like a mixture yeah, we're definitely gonna for the to stamen.
crochet and then it just just kind of comes out like this I think kind of like a bell shape at least that's what I saw doesn't have to be you know two or whatever it's kind of cute I kind of like him it's kind of whimsical <coughs> and then I have these watercolors and these are fine tech and I thought it'd be kind of fun to put them like on his chest and on his head because they are um, <coughs> shimmery and if you look at a um, cute little hummingbird they're kind of shimmery like that so I am you don't want to leave your watercolor brushes in the water for too long so sorry I need to take those out I'm going to just use some of this but I wonder what color that's going to end up being kind of maroon I don't know if I want that one so maybe I'll do like the white we'll see if it keeps it kind of bright or not or maybe I could add it that's what I'll do kind of add it to the purple maybe it'll give me some shimmer just because I was thinking you know that's going to be kind of pretty if I can get you know like some shimmer on this little guy I might have to clean this when I'm done. What's wrong? Okay. Just having fun over there. Yeah. So, and I'm just going to tap it on. I don't know if that's going to be bright enough, huh? It's kind of really taking it down. So, and this is more opaque. So, it's not, um, let me see what color this is. Some of these, they kind of look white. But they're um, like purple or whatever once you mix them or once they dry so maybe maybe that's not a good idea kind of remove that <laughs> I could make it kind of well let's just try it I don't know what I want to do kind of ruby throated huh You're not supposed to like incorporate any other color into your um, mix you know because it kind of makes it look odd or whatever but maybe I can kind of spread it out throughout the picture I don't know I just play in just play in but it's really shimmery so some of this down here let's kind of add, add some more water just kind of make it all feel like it kind of belongs so if you guys are joining me and doing a positivity journal it's kind of fun uh, I've enjoyed it I don't want it you know too much because I want it to kind of focus on my little guy and then the red or the green I kind of have this one which is kind of fun maybe it'll kind of dry back we'll see might just have messed it all up but you know what can't mess it up can ya it's creative license Oh, is that what they call that? That is what they call it. You can do whatever you want to do. Are you being facetious? Yeah, he's being facetious. No, I wasn't. I was serious. <laughs> Why do you always think I'm up to something? Because you always are. I am not either. He's asking me why um, I always think he's up to something. Hmm. Huh. I bet I did. <laughs> That's okay. Right. I know you can. I ain't worried about you. I ain't worried about you at all. So I'm just again. I'm just kind of adding some of that in. 
not too bad. I kind of like that. That's cute. And then I am going to kind of add just a little definition on these flowers over here. So I'm just going to use some dark green or leaves, I'm sorry, and just kind of nothing major, you know, just. Here's something for you, babe. I'd be in much better shape if sarcasm was an actual sport. <laughs> Huh. Wouldn't I, though? Your furs. I don't know what you're talking about. Just adding a little bit of detail to these. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to call it good. So, I'm going to go dry this pretty well. And when we come back, we'll stick it in our book. I'll be right back. Okay, this is a pencil. What? It did not work. Yep. That's okay. You know what? Well, I could do my. So I'm gonna grab a pen real quick and sign my name and date, and I'll be back. I don't know, babe. Okay. So I'm just using this pen. Today technically is the 30th, so I just put it for 2020. Oh. Think she's done drying, partner? I'm done drying, I think. Poor, poor little guy, he keeps running away from. So we'll see if that even goes on that page. Oh, I think it will. It's got purple in it. I think it'll be kind of cute right there. Okay, so I'm just going to glue this. I'm going to put some art glitter glue because it kind of grabs really nicely. So. And I'm kind of doing a little bit thicker than I would like other paper products just because it kind of has a little bit of texture on the back and I just want it to hold, you know. <clears throat> but I think I kind of wanted him tucked in that pocket. I think that's just kind of cute. That's what I did today. Well, I located, but I found asparagus today, so I went asparagus picking. Yeah, Clint picked asparagus without me. I love picking asparagus. Well, we can always run down and look around. Yeah, not right now, though. What no. time is it? It's almost supper time. No, you want me to put on this chili? Is that what we're having? Yeah. Okay. I'll do it next week. Okay. I was thinking, uh, your little guy just got in your lap. I know it. I'll wait. I think he turned out kind of cute, and then you can kind of see that shimmer. Let's see. Right there, see the shimmer? I don't know. I just wanted to add it and so I did. Okay, let me find I have a positivity saying because I look for one if I can't come up with one myself. So and I just go to um Pinterest and just look until something, you know, pops out at me. I'll probably put the saying over here. So, figure out how I want to like actually put it. I don't want to write on this because I don't want to make it look sloppy. Well, any more than it already is. And, or maybe I do. If I could spell it right. Huh? Where's my pen I just had? Here it is. Okay, so the saying I'm going to do is, No one can do it for you. Happiness is flying with your own wings. Uh, yeah, I'll go ahead and write it. Oh, makes me nervous. <laughs> Take your time. Exactly. No one can do it for you. No one can. it for you. It's a little bit bulky so it's a little bit harder to write for you. And then it has happiness.
happiness is flying. And I'm just kind of mixing and matching, mixing, ugh, mixing like um, fancy with print and, you know, just kind of whatever I feel like doing. There. No one can do it for you. Happiness is flying with your own wings. Isn't that the truth? So, I hope you guys liked this one. It was a really fun one for me. It kind of... I told Clint, you know, I need to do something and kind of chill out a little bit. And we will be starting a new journal series on Monday, though I am going to still try, you know, a couple of days a week to put in positivity journals because, or spreads because I really still want to go ahead and just do that um, throughout the book and throughout the year. So, but yeah, we will be starting a new journal series, so we'll see how that turns out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are staying positive. Uh, be sure and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out our channel. And thank you guys for um, choosing to spend time with us. So thank you so much for watching. We will see you guys in the next video. See you soon. Bye. Bye, guys. Thank you for visiting.